How's it going everyone? Jason Lucero checking back in. Flex Point Fitness CEO whatever representative uh, team leader um, but today I am eight days away from the natural muscle mayhem in Los Angeles, California, it's in Claremont. Um, so basically it's 11.45 right now. I had a class this morning, one of my last classes for the first semester in my college career, I guess. Um, I have finals on Monday and Tuesday and my show is next Saturday. So basically, once I finish my last test on Tuesday, it is smooth sailing all the way out until my, my show day. I'm going to execute, getting all my posing, just getting everything, fine tuning every, every little thing. Um, but mo mostly just getting ready for the show. And I'm eight days away, so peak week starts on Saturday, which is tomorrow. So the seven days, the peak week, it starts on a Saturday because my show is on, on Saturday. Um, but I have, I'm basically smooth sailing at 235 grams of carbs. Um, up until I think on Wednesday, my carbs go up to 405 or 400, I'm not sure. Um, for, for a big, uh, let's say, fill up for the show. And then by Saturday, my body should be filled out from all those carbs. Um, so basically, we're, we're cutting down to the last strings here. And today I have an upper body hyper day. Um, in the video, I'll commentate over, over what, I was, what I'm thinking and how, how the workout is. I have some puffed kamut. It's basically just carbs. Um, and I'm drinking my coffee right now, so rolling up to the gym right now. Time to put in this work. Upper body day, let's go. Alright guys, so we're back with another commentary. This was officially at the point of eight days out. This is my first exercise for my upper body hyper day barbell incline I notice how much of an arch that I have and it it has helped me to control the weight and get the squeeze for the the pump and I've done this exercise for the past 30 weeks 29 weeks um, and it's finally I finally came to my last upper workout and something that was lingering in my mind was to finish and to give my all and a lot of people at the end of of journeys i'm not talking about just a bodybuilding journey but journeys in period they get comfortable and they see that they're doing good and then they all of a sudden give up um and in this case that's that's not acceptable the only the only factor that I, that I allow myself to achieve is becoming the best version of myself and putting in the work and the time and the countless effort and sometimes not even becoming, uh, let's say, celebrated for all the work that I've done. But I know that at the end of the day, when I hop on that stage that I gave my all, um, whether it's from diet, whether it's from from hitting cardio, hitting reps, hitting sets, I know that I gave it my all. So at the end of the day, I will be pleased. Um, but another thing, pleased but never satisfied. Pleased but never satisfied. Um, so basically, back to the workout. I am at at this point hitting shoulders. Lateral raises are my second movements when I'm doing shoulders. My first are always dumbbell presses. Normally I did them standing overhead press with dumbbells, but since time went on, I changed to sitting. Uh, so here's a little conditioning. I was feeling the pump. 
I was feeling super excited um, because this was my last my last upper day, and just the fact that I needed to finish and give my all was was very exciting. Um, but here are some curls for the girls. Um, and one thing that's interesting is like I've I've stuck to one bicep movement per upper day and it has helped same thing with triceps I only stick to one movement I make sure that I get the blood inside the muscle and I make sure that I hit reps according according to my sets um, but this video is coming to a close uh, basically at this point eight days out I'm super excited I just want to show everyone how much work I've put in um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what, what you guys think of the channel. Um, any help is appreciated. Thanks for watching. So, just finished up at the gym. And basically, for anyone that has lost weight before knows that when you're losing weight, you're losing body fat, and the body fat keeps you warm at times. And I'm out here in California, and it's raining, and it's cold, and it's tough because my body fat is low. Um, but I don't know, that's just something I wanted to share because my body fat's so low, and the, and the cold is freezing. It sucks, but it's part of the process.